Hey everyone, we've got Amos and Osberg here. This is a uh, dual personality. First time we're trying this out. We are at Champion Motor Speedway at M1 Concourse in Pontiac, Michigan. And we're gonna have a lot of fun today. Yes, we are. Yeah, we're in the new Toyota 86. Most importantly, yes. Yeah, that's right, that's, that's the best part. <laughs> so, uh, this is the 2017 Toyota 86 update for the Scion FRS. I drove this car about four or five months ago at, um, it was at Autobahn Country Club in Joliet. Illinois and uh, it was an automatic but I was really impressed with the suspension changes that they had made with the car uh, I was really impressed with the brake pedal feel but couldn't tell anything power wise because it was an auto so here we have a six-speed manual um, shorter final drive ratio in that rear differential and we've been kind of just talking about the car and some of the differences and quite impressed with what changes Toyota have made here. And our experience levels with this car are on two opposite ends of the spectrum. So Chris absolutely knows this platform. He uh, owns one himself. He's very in tune with the changes that have been made along the way. Myself, um, I know of the car. I drove one back when they came out uh, a couple years ago, but I'm not as in tune with it. It's really gonna be my first time behind the wheel of one of these at an extended period, first time on the track with one of these. And I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's a car that will appeal to uh, the enthusiast kind of driving and driving feedback I'm looking for. Um, it's unlike any car I've ever owned before, so, you know, it's a little bit of curiosity. And Chris is giving me a nice rundown of the, uh, the course here. I've not been on the course here at M1 Concourse. And I can already tell this, this car is very well at home here from the passenger seat. Uh, the composure is fantastic. I can tell Chris has been here before. <laughs> Excellent. Now already I can tell just pushing this car that the front end has a lot more composure, a lot more grip. My BRZ tends to understeer a little bit and this is just you can, the harder you turn, the more the front end darts in, and it's just, Toyota have done some really neat uh, suspension tweaks to the dampers, to the springs, the sway bars, and it's really, it's paid off a lot. It's, uh, it looks, it feels great. And my personal feeling is this is the type of course I think that you will appreciate this kind of car. It's not a big power course, it's, uh, it's a little bit technical. Um, but it's, you know, you, you can get into fourth gear in this thing without too much trouble. And uh, it's not, the straights aren't too long that you feel like the car just isn't pulling the miles an hour you want. It's, it's very it's tidy. It's nice with this car. Yeah. The biggest differences I'm noticing are much better suspension, a lot smoother ride, and the, the shorter differential, the shorter final drive ratio is awesome. Now. The gearing seems to be perfect. It is, yeah. Noticing quite a bit more mechanical grip than before. Um, you know, before in a BRZ FRS, you exit a corner with some throttle and it would just kick sideways immediately. In this, there's just a little bit more grip. See, right there is a spot where the gearing could be critical if you had to make yeah. that two, three up shift before you got to that cone. But it feels like the gearing is really good for this course. No, it feels, it feels nice. So you've been paying attention? I've been paying attention. I think I can find my way around it. All right, we'll swap on the straightaway here. Not with the, uh, the smoothness that you're demonstrating, Chris. I can tell that you've been out here before. Well, your, uh, your apexes are on your... Uh, their cones are marked as apexes and stuff, so. All right, roll, roll, roll let's through. go ahead and do Chinese fire drill. That's right. Ooh, smells good. Yeah, it does. It smells like brakes. All right, Mr. Bombach ahead of us in the Hellcat. Yep. Probably didn't even get over 2,000 RPMs, I know. But, you know. <laughs> just, just We're having more fun, let's be honest here. That's right. Let's see if I can get 
this exposure. Slow car fast is better than fast car slow, right? Agreed, always. So, get this off. I think we're all set up like I want it. All right. And we are off. One thing I've been able to do in this car that I've never done before in my BRZ is chirp third. <laughs> and that right there, that right there says a lot. Orient myself here. Yeah, I'm we'll, way off, but I'll, I'll coach you a little bit if you want. So yeah, let's let's do it. This is a good second gear corner here. You can probably leave it in third for most of the track. This yeah. is kind of a weird double apex here. You're gonna run wide out. Run and wide turn out. In at the okay. orange cone. Okay, got it. Gotcha. All right. All right. Then I'm gonna want to hit this one up here a little yeah. early, but I got it. Go. And then on the brakes hard here, down into Ooh. second. Apex is that Got it. cone right there. Full throttle through here. You're braking right about the end of those red strips, maybe a little earlier. Okay, we're gonna take it easy on the Leave first it in one. Third here. There we go. Okay. Let her run wide out to that yellow. Turn in at the orange. There's your yellow right there. Nice. Breaking into second, running wide, and then aiming straight for that orange cone right there. Okay. And then turning into our Got apex it. right there. So it's going to be kind of a triangulation. Good. And then staying to the left on the straight. Okay. Unless a bunch of people passing you. <laughs> and I always usually start breaking at the four here just in case. Maybe in third. Keep it third? Here. Yep. Stay on the outside here. What, gradually working your way onto the inside into your apex. Got it. Looks good. Let it run wide out to the curbs here. This is almost full second. throttle. Is this, is this third or second? Yeah, you don't need, this is third here. You don't need brakes there. You can just kind of let right. it run over the crest. That's a second. Yeah, you can run second here. There we go. Chris Osberg mastering M1 concourse. This is always, I always have a little bit of trouble with this section, but you just have to get your lines right and yeah, it kind of comes little, together. Little goofy. I really apex it last time too. Yeah. So, balance is fantastic. Very playful chassis. You can get the rear end to just play along, to rotate a bit without actually drifting the car. Uh, you can just tell the car is ready to do what you want. You feel in control of the car. It is a very natural feeling. It's not produced by artificial electronics or stability control systems, the, the natural balance of the chassis is just very, very good. The ergonomics are top notch. Heel and toe, absolute easy. I've only been driving this car a few minutes now, and I feel totally at home with it. Steering wheel's in the right spot, steering feel is very direct, brake feel is good. Um, for what I'm doing right now, I almost can't think of a better car. fantastic car to get get comfortable with on the track it's it's kind of why i bought one um i can see chris i yeah. can see why on our next lap let's hop into the skid pad i'll show you where that right. goes you know i like to get things a little bit sideways oh, so yeah. you're speaking my language now that's right usually the cars i drive it's more of a brute force thing but uh this is like a scalpel this thing is gonna do exactly what I want it to do. This is a bit of a precision instrument. It is. And it's a big departure. So, background, Amos and I were both big time car enthusiasts, but we're kind of opposite, you know, but we're good friends and it's kind of what makes it interesting. That's true. It's always good to get a couple opinions. I feel like this is like everyday driver or something, you know? <laughs> and you were worried for a second that I wouldn't like this thing. You're yeah, like, well, you know, here, I'm gonna give you the car. You might like it, you might not. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna like this car. And to be quite honest, I'm gonna question you as an automotive enthusiast if you can't find a way to have fun in this car. Yeah, exactly. Okay, right, where are we so going? So our entrance is coming up to on the right here. Right there. Right there. 
So I'm not gonna take this thing down Woodward to go drag racing, right? But for this, man, this is sweet.